Today we're going to begin our Cricut basic series. If you are new to Cricut or just having trouble with design space, the series is for you. So this is our first edition and we're going to try to do an edition every month. So if you would subscribe to this YouTube channel so you be sure to get all the updates. Today's video is on uploading your own images to design space. You can use the images within design space and pay for those or use the free ones, but you can also upload your own images, which opens up a whole world of possibilities. Imagine being able to upload any image or anything you can draw into design space and having your Cricut cut it out. That's what you can do. So let's get started. Begin by opening up design space. And that's design.cricut.com. And then you would just click new project to open up a new canvas. And now we're going to upload our own image. To upload your own image, click upload on the left. Now you can upload images of JPG format, JIF format, PNG format, BMP format, SVG format, or DXF format. We're going to upload first an image, so that would be like the JPG or the PNG file. And I'll also upload an FG, SVG file later in this video, because they are sort of two different processes. So just click upload image here, and then you'll just browse your computer and find the image. And just click open. Now you'll see your image on the side, and you also see three different image types on the right. These actually make a huge difference when uploading to Design Space. So if you have trouble, if you pick one, continue on, and are having trouble getting the results you want, come back. There's always a back button in the lower left hand corner, and choose a different type of image and see if you get better results. So, because my image has high contrast colors, I'm going to pick simple, but like I said, I could definitely choose the other ones and get possibly a different result. Then it uploads the image, and you can scroll, or in this case, I'm going to zoom out, and you can see the completed image. Now, you have to select and erase areas that you want to remove. So just click anywhere you want to remove, and that area will turn, will turn checked. So you have to click every area that you want to remove, including the centers of letters and numbers. Once you get everything how you would like it to look, you would click continue. Now, I could try to pick these small, small areas inside this heart to cut them out. But I actually want the heart whole, so I wanted to cut the full heart, so I'm not going to try to pick those. But if you wanted to, you could zoom in on those and actually pick the centers of those as well. Now you have two options on the next screen of how to save your design. You can save it as a print then cut image or as a cut image. If you just want to cut it out of, say, vinyl or paper, you could save as a cut image. If you want to print it on your home printer that's connected to your computer and then cut it, then you would do the print then cut. So I want to save it as a cut image, so I choose that version, and then click save. This saves it to my images, and I can then use it over and over again without having to upload again. You can upload any image that's on your computer as long as it's the formats indicated at the beginning. And here it is uploaded. So now I just need to click it and insert images. And now it inserts it onto my canvas in Design Space. And note, it inserts it as one layer. When you upload a photo file format like JPG or PNG, it is going to upload it as one layer. So it will all be cut from the same color. And that includes the love as well as the outer ring. So just a note that when you upload them that way, that is the way they look. Now, I can do anything I need to do with this. Say I want to resize it, I can resize it. Um, if you wanted it to be two different colors, you could actually accomplish that. 
So let's zoom out a little bit and pick a shape, pick square, move that square and size it to where it's just over the love portion. And then pick both the square and the image, right click and slice. Now I have the square, which I can delete. I have that love that came out of the square that I can delete. And now I have two different pieces. So now I could take the love and cut it from a different color than the surrounding wreath. So that's how if you do upload those image files and want to make them two different colors, two different materials, that type of thing, that's how you would slice the individual pieces out of the whole image. All right, so now let's upload a SVG file. Starting again from a blank canvas, we'll click Upload, Upload Image. Now just click Browse, and we'll need to find a SVG file. So I'm going to use this FGV, SVG file that I got off the internet. And so this will be completely different. So we skipped all of those steps where we had to select all the outer areas. It just uploads it. And you'll notice that it is two different colors because SVGs come in as two different pieces and you can cut them from two different materials or two different colors of vinyl. And just click save. And now you can insert that image onto your canvas. And as you can see, however the, the SVG file was designed is how it comes in. So this one came in in several different pieces, all grouped together. You would just click ungroup if you wanted to move pieces of that around. So that's how we upload images into Design Space. So hopefully that cleared things up on uploading images into Design Space. If you have any questions, anything I didn't cover, please ask them in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and be sure to share it with your friends. Thank you.